Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa participated in a brotherly consultative meeting with the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi, the UAE President His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and the King of Jordan His Majesty King Abdullah II bin Al Hussein, which was held in Al Alamein, Egypt. The meeting included discussions on the depth of the brotherly relations between the countries and ways to enhance the joint cooperation that will benefit the countries and their peoples. The leaders affirmed the multilateral brotherly strategic relations and ways to further enhance these relations to achieve the aspired goals. The meeting also discussed the joint coordination fields to enhance the joint Arab action, protect the interests of the Arab nation and unifying stances in regards to the challenges facing the region to ensure its security and stability, as well as discussing topics of mutual interest and recent developments on the regional and international levels. The leaders affirmed the importance of enhancing cooperation and joint action to open up new horizons for cooperation and vital fields that lead to economic development, as well as enhance efforts to protect the security and stability of the region to achieve the aspired goals as well as the aspirations of the nations towards further progress and prosperity. They also affirmed the importance of collective efforts and the co continuation of mutual coordination that unifies stances in the face of challenges faced by the region and work on supporting the nation's issues. They also stressed the need to strengthening joint efforts to protect Arab national security and establish peace and security in a way that contributes to achieving stability and prosperity for the benefit of all nations. His Majesty then attended a lunch banquet held by the Egyptian president in honor of the leaders participating in the brotherly consultative meeting. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived yesterday in Egypt following an invitation from the President of Egypt Abdel Fattah al Sisi to attend the brotherly consultative meeting that was held today. The UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and the Jordanian monarch, His Majesty King Abdullah II bin Al Hussein, also participated in the summit. His Majesty will also participate in also participated in inaugurating the Masa Hotel. His Majesty was received by the Egyptian president and senior officials and official reception protocols were held upon His Majesty's arrival where the national anthems of the two countries were played. سلام مملكة البحرين سلام سلام Shut up! Get in! 
His Majesty then greeted the senior officials and Assisi greeted the Bahraini delegation members. Assisi welcomed His Majesty the King and exchanged cordial talks on the deep bilateral brotherly ties. His Majesty affirmed the deep rooted historical ties between the two countries and the mutual keenness to develop these ties in all fields. His Majesty affirmed the importance of the bilateral cooperation programs that enhances the strategic partnership between the two countries, which support their aspiration towards further progress and prosperity. His Majesty praised the efforts of Assisi in enhancing joint Arab action to achieve its noble goals and hailed his role in opening up new horizons for joint Arab cooperation in various fields that achieves progress and prosperity and meets the aspirations of the nations. He wished Egypt and its people further progress and prosperity. The motorcade of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa then headed to Al Masa Hotel where His Majesty participated in inaugurating it. After cutting the ribbon, His Majesty the King, the UAE President, the Jordanian Monarch and the Prime Minister of Iraq were briefed on the stages of building the hotel, its facilities and its tourist establishment that were built based on modern international designs which reflects the development witnessed by Egypt. His Majesty the King then attended a lunch banquet that was hosted by a Sisi in honor of the leaders participating in the brotherly consultative meeting. Meeting. Brotherly meetings are always held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi, which always comes with a shared vision between the two leaders towards various issues. 
The Bahraini Egyptian meetings and the joint summits stem from the depth and distinguished brotherly relations that unite the Kingdom of Bahrain and Egypt, which affirms the depth of the close and solid historical relations between the two countries and people, and the mutual keenness to further develop these relations in all fields. Egypt plays a pivotal role in supporting the joint Arab action thanks to the efforts of the Egyptian president, and these efforts are the subject of gratitude and praise from His Majesty the King. The framework of continuous effort that His Majesty the King is keen to support witnessed several joint summits between the Kingdom of Bahrain, the UAE, Jordan and Egypt in addition to the Egyptian-Jordanian-Iraqi summit, and this Arab consensus enhances the hopes of the people who believe in one common destiny. The brotherly consultative meeting also constitutes a model in joint Arab action, a true embodiment of the spirit of brotherhood and the close and growing strategic partnership ties between the brotherly countries based on solid foundations of friendship and mutual respect and a common desire to unite the Arab countries in the face of current regional and international challenges as well as maintaining peace and security on a global level. The Deputy King His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Development Cooperation of Burundi, Albert Shingiro, at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness welcomed the Minister to the Kingdom and emphasized further strengthening bilateral relations across various fields to achieve common goals. The Minister expressed his appreciation for His Royal Highness's commitment to strengthening bilateral relations in which the Kingdom continued progress and prosperity. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Charity Educational Endowment, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Hamad bin Faisal al Malki, also attended the meeting. The President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, held the Council's fifth meeting. The Council praised the noble humanitarian projects of the Kingdom as an implementation of the vision of His Majesty the King and his comprehensive development that values the principles of solidarity, coexistence, and human dignity. The meeting stressed His Majesty the King's keenness to promote the spirit of solidarity in societies and support humanitarian work in the world and appreciated the government's efforts, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, in supporting charitable and relief services inside and outside Bahrain. The Council congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, on the 21st anniversary of the SCW's establishment, commending the Council's continuous efforts in serving the affairs of women, family and society. The Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture Minister Wa Al Mbarak and Oil and Environment Minister and Climate Affairs Special Envoy Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak bin Dana established mangrove nurseries in Tubli affiliated with the Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture Ministry. Al Mbarak affirmed the continuation of work to achieve national goals related to forestation and mangrove cultivation. He explained that the ministry is continuing to implement government directions in the field of forestation to enhance efforts to increase green spaces in mangrove trees to reduce the effects of climate change. These efforts are in line with the Kingdom's plans to adapt to the effects of climate change and implementation of the climate commitments of the Kingdom announced by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister during the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Dr. Bendaina affirmed that the Kingdom has taken a number of measures to decrease carbon emissions, including afforestation and issuing incentives to entities and individuals to increase the size of green spaces. The Minister of Oil and the Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak bin Dana, inaugurated the National Plan for Persistent Organic Pollutants. During the ceremony, the Minister affirmed that the government of Bahrain dedicated its efforts to achieve Bahrain's development vision, which aims to achieve sustainable development goals by protecting the environment and humans in Bahrain from any chemical and organic substances that may pose a danger, where the Supreme Council for the Environment launched a national program to list persistent organic pollutants in various sectors. 